Hey guys, my name is David with Direct Performance Physical Therapy. This week our video series is going to be about ACL Return to Sport Guidelines. Research has shown us that only 51% of athletes are actually able to return to sport at the same level one year following a repair and 21% experience a re-tear. So it's really important for us on these specific tests to help athletes get as close to symmetrical on each side as possible, as well as do these tests with as much power as possible so that we can help them perform their sport specific activity at the level that they were able to before their surgery. One question we get all the time from patients is when am I gonna be able to return to my sport? Whether that's running, lifting, or team sports, it's a really common question and as therapists, we need to be able to prove to the patient that they're ready to go back. The three tests that we're gonna be going over um, to talk about that point are the single leg hop, the triple leg hop, and the triple leg crossover hop. So for the single leg hop test, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually get the patient to lay down and we're doing this to see what the height is from their heel up to their shoulder. Ideally that's the height that we want them to be able to jump on each leg um, in order to demonstrate that they're ready to return to sport. So once you have that height um, you get the patient to start at the same point every time. You're going to give them three repetitions and there are going to be maximal hops. The patient has to stick the landing. They can't have any bouncing or wobbling at the end and they repeat the test on each side. In order for our athletes to be safe to return to sport, we'd like to see 90% symmetry side to side. So our next test is gonna be the triple hop test. So in this test, the patient is gonna be taking three hops with as much distance as possible on each side. They're gonna get three chances, and we're gonna look at their farthest distance, and we're gonna take that distance and compare side to side. Our goal for return to, return to sport criteria is to have a 90% or better symmetry when comparing side to side. So our third test is gonna be the triple hop crossover test. In order to do this test, you need a line of tape or a battle rope or a TRX band, whatever you can do, but you want the patient to line up with their leg closest to the line and that's gonna be the test leg for the test. So they're gonna to get to do this on three times each side. We're gonna take their maximal distance and we wanna compare that side to side. In order for the athlete to be safe to return to sport, ideally what we want is a 90% symmetry or better when comparing side to side for this test. This test adds more of a lateral component and it also stresses the knee in more of a balanced position. So it's a really good test in order to make sure an athlete is safe to return to sport. So you've seen our three tests for ACL return to sport criteria. Um, some common themes across these tests is that we want them to be 90% symmetrical. We also want the athlete to give their maximum effort and perform these as best as they possibly can. Um, these are gonna assure us that our patients are as safe as possible to return to sport and we can be comfortable with returning them to a return to sport type of training program. So, if you are an athlete out there or um, if you know somebody who's concerned about returning to sport or if you're not sure if your performance um, or capabilities are where they should be, um, come into Direct Performance, give us a visit um, or call and we'll get you scheduled for an appointment.